up, everybody? I'm Eric, but you can call me Dolly, and I run Dollster Films, a wedding video production company based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I've been doing that since around 2018, and since then, Instagram has changed how they do things so many times, it's it's really hard to keep up with what's going on. In this latest update of 2024, they maxed out the video length to be 90 seconds long, and most of our wedding films are like five minutes, eight minutes, I don't know how long yours are, mine are like three and a half to five, so this is a problem. So you can't just post a wedding short film in full anymore, and that directly affects me because you get booked off that. I get booked off that. Like, you, they want to see the final product. So how can we show them now with this update? It took me about half the year, but I think I figured something out finally, and I'm going to share it with you guys today. Let's go. So the solution is pretty simple. Instead of posting this as a reel, we have to post it as a carousel. You get up to 10 slides on a carousel, and each post has to be 90 seconds. And through much trial and error from your boy, I've discovered that it has to be a 1920 by 1080 timeline. Um, I like to use different crops for my short films and things. Um, I just think it looks a little more cinematic. Whenever I would post that, it would just kind of auto like punch in and you'd be missing details. So you can't just do this on anything. I would just make a separate timeline, bring your video in and I'll show you how to do it. We're gonna edit this in Premiere Pro today, by the way, because that's the only editing software that I know how to use. So, but all of these things should be applicable to the editing program of your choice. So uh, let's get into it. So we got the timeline here, 1920 by 1080, and we're gonna drag my short film in here. This is fine because this is in 4K, we're in 1080, so I just gotta go up to scale and bring that down to 50. Now what you're gonna notice is the standard like black bar crop thing. And the reason that I do that is because if someone's viewing this short film at a lower resolution, the black bars actually get digitized and like creep into the actual image. So that's why I keep it real sharp like that. So I wouldn't worry about the crop for this one. Um, the same things are gonna be applied no matter the size of the crop of the video. And I'm gonna show you that in just a sec here. So I'm just gonna move this up to the top till I don't see black line there we go we're just gonna drag in a fun graphic of mine that's a good pattern just something to have in the background and then we're gonna drop the opacity so that's barely visible and I'll go one step farther and drag a Gaussian blur on it and we'll just boost that to 10 so now we're gonna add a watermark this is up to you if you want to do this uh, I just think it looks nice I'm gonna drag it out to be the entire length of the video and we're just gonna kinda make that like a size of five. And we'll kinda just drag this over and I can kinda fit this in this bottom corner. That's what I like my pattern for. It's, I can kinda frame it easier. easier. And then we're gonna add some text and we're gonna say one of five. And I'm gonna bring this down to like 50 just cause it doesn't need to be that big. And once again, <laughs> I'm gonna use this to drag it over and we'll kind of frame this. Again, you can kind of frame this however you want. I'll kind of frame this right there and then drag this out to the entire length of the video. Save your project. And the last element, we're going to right click into the project, new item, color mat. That's okay. Pick whatever color you want. I'm gonna go with my brand color and I'm gonna say progress bar. Then we're gonna drag that in, make it the entire length of the video again. And you're thinking, what, what are you doing? We're gonna go to effects, crop, drag that on. And then we're going to go from the top and go 99. Look at that. Now the best part about this is because we're all the way in the front, we can set a keyframe right to be 100, set the keyframe, and then go to the end of the video and set it to be 100. So now you have a progress bar that starts at the beginning of your video and ends perfectly at the end. And the reason that this is so important is that you want your viewers to see the fact that the video is not fully done yet. I know we have the one of five, but that's just a reminder to like keep swiping, you know? So say my video was a normal 1920 by 1080. We have these things up here. All we would do is just kind of move these things back into the corner. Right? We just move this into the corner and move this 
into the corner, but be just above that progress bar. The next thing that I do is I go to text, transcript, and transcribe the whole thing. Now, all of these things are optional. You can add and switch these elements as you like, it's up to you. So I do the normal thing where I fix the transcription and then insert captions and do all that kind of stuff. So I'll just do that real quick for you. So now we're gonna properly split this video up into the segments that we want. Uh, again, this is all kind of your preference. It's to your video. You could chop it off at every 90 second segment if you want, um, but I'm just gonna kind of go off of like flow of the video, like which sections I want. So I know I have this dog like intro here. As you can see in the audio here, it kind of chops right there. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right here, and I'm gonna put a marker there. I'm gonna chop, not the progress bar, the, uh, the one out of five, and then we'll change this to two out of five. So you'll notice right on the marker, it changes, okay? We're just gonna do that for every single uh, carousel, essentially. So once we have that, here's how to actually properly do this. So go to the front, select our in, we're gonna hit the marker, but you notice when we hit the marker, it all of a sudden it shows two. We're gonna screw, we're gonna kind of scroll up on our wheel one. We're gonna go one frame and it'll go back. And that's where we set the out point. So we're gonna export this. And then when we're back, we can kind of go back to that two on that marker, do this, go up one, export and just keep doing that process but shout out to you for staying this long you're getting an extra secret if you care about your grid like i do uh the first frame of the first slide is going to be the image is going to be the squared image so really what you want to do so like this would be like a squared version for me it would cut off the tracks and everything over here. So what you're gonna wanna do is just take like any photo really, um, could be of the couple, could not be, and just insert that into the very beginning of the video. So that way this is the actual like squared image. It'll crop this as a square instead of this. <laughs> so that's a little extra secret there just to make sure that the grid is still online. Yes, it's going to show at the beginning of your video like this, but like, I don't know, it's worth it to me. You, it's up to you to decide if you want to do that or not. But congratulations, you can now post your full films on Instagram again. Thank you all so much for watching all the way through. Go ahead and like the video since you did so. And um, till next time, take her easy.